So I was going through 7-Eleven, which I do, you know, four or five times a day. And I was thinking to myself, how do I serve this audience better? How do I build back better? And I thought, right as I kind of popped into my mind, I passed the Bud Light Seltzer Ugly Sweater Christmas Pack. All new flavors of Bud Light Seltzer. First of all, why is it called Bud Light Seltzer? No one knows. Why not just call it a different brand? And Bud Light is obviously a totally different thing. Don't think about that. Think about the fact that they have four bizarre flavors, and I thought maybe I could try them on the air. Is this an excuse for me to drink while I'm at work? Don't answer that. So this first one is cranberry. Now, I feel like cranberry, pretty basic one. Starting off on the easy side here. Bud Light Seltzer Cranberry from the Ugly Sweater Pack, available now. Not, not a great start. It's not great, I'll tell you. Not fantastic. Okay, but, you know, that's a basic one. Let's go to the next one. We're going to up it a little bit, get a little bit more holiday. What's that? I'll give this one a, a 4 out of 10, by the way. Uh, 4 out of 10. Oh, yeah, if you want to do it like that, okay. Next up, apple crisp. Apple crisp. I am a big apple crisp guy in real life. We have an apple crumb pie every Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm very excited about uh, that possibility. Not quite as excited about this after drinking the first one. Here is Bud Light Seltzer Apple Crisp. Oh, my God, that's so weird. Oh, my God, it tastes like apple crumb pie, apple crisp. It really tastes like it. They nailed that flavor. Now, that being said, nailing a flavor... I mean, like, if it was just, like, a, an apple-tasting seltzer, it probably would taste pretty decent. I got to say, like, I can taste the crust. That's what, you can, like... <laughs> I mean, the flavor is there. I, they did nail it. But you don't want to drink apple crisp. That's not what it's for. Oh, I could not drink a whole one of those. I'll give that a 2 out of 10. Now we're getting weird. Next up, ginger snap. Now, I don't know. Is this going to be terrible or Okay. I kind of feel like the ginger snap one, maybe like a, it's almost like a Moscow mule, maybe like you're getting a little ginger beer type of taste. Here it is. Bud Light Seltzer ginger snap. All right. That one's not terrible, actually. It does have that's a little bit of a Moscow mule vibe to it. Um, if you if like if you have this, is that a party? Uh, ginger snap might be the one to go with. And this last one I am not optimistic about whatsoever. Bud Light Seltzer Peppermint Patty. Oh, my. I can't even imagine what this is going to taste like. God, that's not terrible, actually. It tastes like a peppermint patty. They did a good job with these flavors. I will say, like, the... They're just not, the cranberry one is just really weak. I mean, a fruit flavored one should be easy. The apple crisp one tastes like apple crisp, but no one wants to drink apple crisp in a seltzer, so it's just not good. The ginger snap is not terrible. This is the exact reverse of how I thought this would turn out. And then the peppermint patty might be the best one. Hold on, let me try it again. I gotta go a little bit long here because that's not bad. Here, let me do this for you, just to entertain you. A little bit of cranberry. A little bit of apple crisp, a little bit of ginger snap, all mixed up, a little bit of peppermint patty. What is it like to drink the entire Bud Light Ugly Sweater pack at once? This, I do this for you, audience, because I love you. Here we go. Oh, my God, there's so many things happening. Oh, that's like an entire Lord of the Rings movie in like nine seconds. Too many things happening there. Here's how I would rank them. Uh, I think number one, peppermint patty, shockingly. Number two, ginger snap, shockingly. Probably number three, cranberry. Number four, apple crisp. It's available now wherever you get your Bud Light seltzer, which you're getting for a reason I don't understand. Hi, Stu Bergier of Stu Does America here. Thanks so much for watching our video. Did you know you could watch our entire catalog for free right here on our channel? Subscribe now and be sure to hit the thumbs up button on all the episodes you watch because that's how they know you like this stupid show. And that little bell in the corner as well. Make sure you click that. You'll get notifications every time we post new content. Stu Does America every weekday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here.